Cyber insurance, uh, as, as you know, is relatively a new product in the market, even though I started selling cyber insurance or invented cyber insurance in 1997, still we look at the market that started only in 2014. Just so you get an understanding, in 2014, the whole global premium for cyber was around half a billion dollars. So it was a very small and minor product in the insurance industry. I can tell you safely that in 2019, it will be around $6 billion. So it's definitely the fastest growing product in the insurance industry. And since we realized today that most businesses are becoming digital, even if they may think that they are physical businesses, but we are totally relying on computers. Insurance, as it's always been, it's a risk transfer mechanism. So we are not coming instead of uh, risk avoidance, risk acceptance and mitigation. In the end of the day, after you've done everything, you want to transfer some of the risk to the insurance industry. The industry now is waking up, understanding that in the next 12 to 24 months, everybody will have to have some kind of cyber insurance in their program. And people are starting to understand and want to understand what is cyber insurance? How can it help me? How can it be built into my cyber security program? What do I need in order to buy cyber insurance? And that is what we concentrated today, opening to people in Greece, what is cyber insurance? what to do around cyber insurance and I'm glad to say that from the couple of days that I've been here and meetings that I've done in Greece I am very optimistic about the Greek market I think uh, the train may have left, left the station but it's in the first stop so we can really make sure that the Greek businesses uh, are, are there to, to ensure this risk. Is cyber insurance a risk for the insurance market in general? So you have to bear in mind, first of all, that we are, as I said before, we are very new to, to the insurance industry. Insurance was born 300 years ago, 350 years ago in a coffee shop, Lloyd's Coffee Shop. We are born as such in 2014 after a, a, a big event that happened in the United States. So we are still learning. We don't know a lot of things around what the product may be. We know that right now there is relatively a minor entry to the market, but let's take, for example, there was a big event in 2017, which people may have heard about. It was called NotPetya. It was a state-sponsored event from Russia against Ukraine. The whole damage around NotPetya was about $10 billion, which is like two hurricanes, yeah? It could bring the prices up and everything, but only 10% of it was insured. So imagine now in one or two years where the market will have, everybody will have cyber insurance, we will have accumulation problem, we will have a lot of these things, but we still are learning and changing as we go along. We are accumulating data. Data is super important to us because people are still not sharing the data. So when people have a cyber event, they are still not sharing between them the event so they can um, know what happened and so it won't happen uh, again. So. All in all, we, are, we don't really know yet how the market will react. We know that everybody is very eager to write cyber insurance. There are around 200 uh, companies around the world that are writing cyber insurance. And so there is a lot of capacity around cyber insurance. And the claims ratio, maybe it's a, it's a well-kept secret between the insurance companies, but uh, it's around 65 to 70 percent. So it's still relatively a very good business for the insurance industry. From your knowledge, is globally uh, companies uh, taking cover for the cyber risk? Yes, we are definitely, you know, when I started this in 97, if you stopped me in 97 and said that uh, in 2019 this will be the fastest growing product in the insurance industry, I would have thought that, you know, uh, I was dreaming, but it's coming. And uh, from my global knowledge, and I move around the world a lot and in different territories, uh, it's picking up faster than I ever thought.